What's a man got to do to get that kind of attention from you? It's hard to say exactly, but you seem to be doing fine. Well, great. Though truth is, it ain't me that wants you. Oh? No, Miss Jacqueline Natla does, from Natla Technologies. You know, creator of all things bright and beautiful. <laughs> Seal it, Larson. Ma'am. Feast your eyes on this, Laura. How does that make your wallet rumble? I'm sorry. I only play for sport. But then you'll like a big park. Peru. Vast mountain ranges to cover. Sheer walls of ice. Rocky crags. Savage winds. And there's this little trinket. An age-old artifact of mystical power is buried in the unfound tomb of Qualapec. That's my interest. You could leave tomorrow. Are you busy tomorrow? Hello and welcome everyone to my Let's Play Tomb Raider 1, this is Algaris 115 and yeah, we basically enter the very first level of the game. Now as you might have seen in the cutscenes that probably don't make much sense at the moment but they will later on, Lara was hired by Jacqueline Nadva to find a piece of Skion, whatever the hell Skion is, outside of being an awesome artifact or whatever we'll probably find out later on and it's supposed to be in a city of Wilkabamba that we are desperately trying to find now there was a lovely throwdown outside of the uh, cave there are still tracks of the wolves that ambushed us and killed the poor guy I'm gonna call him Pablo cause why the hell not <laughs> at any way um yeah so let's check the inventory first before we do anything serious and for some reason the screen is black whilst we're accessing the inventory I'm not sure why that is the case but it doesn't really matter what we have is a compass which I don't find useful at all because I'm confused where the hell north, east, south and west is more confused how the hell do I advance from this point to another point however if you feel like you want to make a map of levels or anything at all it's a pretty handy feature uh, next to that we have pistols and that's it yeah so basically this is a new feature since we played the tutorial where you can draw and holster weapons now why would you ever holster your weapons because it allows you to climb stuff to basically use Lara's hands to free them whereas if you draw weapons your action button actually turns into shooting instead of grabbing and using and picking up stuff so you basically think of it as switching between exploration and combat mode now we are gonna need them for now however this is a way to the very first secret in the cave over here that's where we continue and this is where we find the secret so let's do just that now 
The ledge over there is too high for us to reach by jumping. Yeah, just barely, basically. So what we can do is jump backwards from this point, and once Lara's sliding, jump forward, grab the ledge, and move forward. Now, yes, I know I'm taking my time with these, but just trying to ex explain stuff in the first few videos, then it's going to be more automated. And as you could have heard, that was a chime that we just heard. It's a secret chime, very characteristic for the Tomb Raider franchise, whenever you encounter a secret. Now, that was also the first pickup of the game, where we found a small health pack. Yeah, well, medipack, which entered our inventory ring, and you can basically use that to refill half of your health bar. You can see your health bar if you enter the combat mode, draw your weapons. But it's full, so there's no need to waste the health pack. Anyway, let's move forward. And that's where the wolf tracks officially disappeared. And then we have our first enemies, three bats. Shoot, shoot, shoot. He's down. Okay, they're all down. They take only like two shots or whatever. Now, the interesting thing about combat in Tomb Raider is that well, you don't really decide which target Lara will pick. She'll just do it on her own. However, if you are unhappy with the target, if you prefer to choose a different monster or animal or just a same enemy in a different situation relative to you, then just stop shooting for a while and then press the action button again. Basically, she'll switch on a different target. So it's kind of smart that way. And it's an instantaneous process, so you won't be in any real danger by her choosing a inappropriate target. Now, let's check the alcove over here. This is the way to the second secret. As you can hear, yeah, that's another bed down. And we're rewarded with another health pack. These are really primitive secrets, of course. It's the first level, after all. They don't want to discourage people not to look for them. Now... Yes, yeah, so, uh, technically Lara's first enemies here were the wolves, but within the actual game, bats are the first type of enemy you'll encounter. Now... This is actually a very r large, impressive natural cave with absolutely nothing remarkable in it. So we'll just move forward into the grassy patch over here, which leads to a staircase. See? Stairs. Now we actually finally see some traces of civilization. And look, our first mechanism! We can just interact with it by pressing the control button. Ta-da! What a sinister music. And there's another bat. I'll just shoot it. Now, this is a, some sort of barrier made out of wooden poles. At the very end of it is a large double door gate. Now, that's where we want to go. That's basically the end of the level. Our goal, we want to reach it, but we can't because of this obstacle. We might if we use a corner glitch, but nah, that's just a nasty way of playing. So instead, let's just climb up into this corner over here and uh, I think we should see an interesting area next oh the bridge room of course so this is actually a sight to behold and look we can see cute wolves there and we can just shoot them from up here from complete safety but yeah, nah. Let's up the difficulty a little. We'll attend these wolfies in a moment. For a, for a while, let's just get across the bridges without falling. So as not to fall and get eaten. Yeah, that's really nasty roll. We're gonna be hearing a lot of those in this game. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, um, you can press uh, F5 or F6 to quick save and quick load respectively, but um, what I do is I always make a safe game position at the beginning of each level. Now, 
I already made a... Uh, now, I don't do that for the caves level, because you can just, you know, go with new game. But if you just want to have a lovely list of all available save games, then just do that for the caves level as well. And you can see, oh, caves, I remember this level. We've been there quite a while. Oh, look, this level, I remember that one as well. So, yeah, this isn't a game where you would have a selection of playable levels, but you can make that on your own by just saving as soon as you can at the beginning of each and every level. Although, come to think of it, you could select levels and even watch the previous cutscenes before that in the PS version, but not in the PC, unfortunately. It's the price to pay for being able to save the game at any time without the need for actually finding saving crystals. Oh, now... Uh, if you remember what I said about the music being in this game, just listen to this. I have to admit that was more intense than I thought it would be. I really did not expect these two wolfies to come running from the door straight at us. Well, um, I guess it's a good example of the price you pay for arrogance. If we would just shoot them safely from top of the bridge, we wouldn't lose this much health. But, you know, it was fun. And, uh,. This ancient mummy here, me and my brother when we were kids, we always used to think this is actually the corpse of Pablo, the guide. The guide who actually brought Lara to this place, who died when the wolves attacked, and we thought they just brought his corpse into the cave and, and just violently shredded flesh from the bone, and this is all that remained. Obviously that wouldn't make a sense, it's mummified, but you know. It was, um interesting thing to think was real. Anyway, um, yeah, that was a good example of how amazing music is in Tomb Raider 1, so uh, using Glitter software was, was definitely worth it. Now, okay, uh, this is a room with the location of the third secret of the game. Now, well, Lara shooting right now, you can barely see it behind the vegetation, but there's actually an entrance into an area with a... Uh, should be a large health pack, I think. Yeah, I definitely think so. Now, reaching it is fairly a trivial task. You just need to spot it. That's pretty much where the challenge rests. And there we go. Yay! Look at the stone disc, it's pretty huge. Kind of reminds me of the Guardian of Light game. Oh, that was such a good game. And we're gonna have the Temple of Osiris soon. Yeah, but don't get me started about the next Tomb Raider being an exclusive. <clears throat> anyway, um, yeah, so uh, we see a lever and we see a door now. Kind of suggesting the lever opens the door, doesn't it? So let's just get over here. Now, mind you, this is gonna be a timed challenge. You only have a limited amount of time to slip into the door whilst it's open. Now, the camera did not make that easy for us, and look, we already lost time by dropping. So, let's do this. Okay, made it in time. Awesome. 
the door should close behind us at any moment. Although some of the doors, once you actually get behind them, they don't, but these did. As you can see, we had plenty of time. Another example of the music. Oh, watch out for these. I just ran quickly to dodge them. Not much different strategy involved. And a wolfie! Okay. Now, what we see here is a new feature. It's basically uh, loose tiles that break as soon as you step on them. It takes a little while, they're still walkable upon for a few seconds. But what I prefer to do with traps like this is first to let them drop and then just drop down safely, like we did in the Lara's home tutorial. It's basically, you know, it wasn't necessary for this particular drop, but generally, if you see these tiles, first walk on them to break them, and then drop down safely. Or if you're impatient, just what the hell, stay on top of them till you drop. Now, I think we found ourselves in the... Oh yeah large room with the double door and the uh, wooden poles over there so we made it across finally our goal is within reach oh another thing you can holster or draw your weapons while you're in the air very handy shortcut there, no reason to go all the way around. And this should be it for the first level. Okay, that's 14 kills, 7 pickups and 3 out of 3 secrets and I believe that is actually all there is to this level. So yay, we made it! Now on to the second one.